Hi everyone, it's Sean, and I'm here with a six month review on the Click Gear 4.0 push cart. So I'm gonna go over some of the features of this push cart. So here you can see is the handbrake. So I actually prefer the handbrake over a foot brake because say like foot brake, as you use your feet, you get some mud on there. It's kind of a mess. And also this handbrake is just kind of right there where your hands are already. So just flip that up there and then it locks it into place and then you're set to go. So another really nice easy feature on this is there's actually an umbrella holder. So whether it's for rain or sun, you just need some extra shade. So as you can see here, it's got a nice little storage clamp where you can keep the umbrella holder and then you can just pull it out here and they can easily screw it into the handle here. Just takes a matter of moments, just a simple screw. And I really like this rubber holder here that can flip it up over on top of the umbrella handle, keeps your umbrella secure. It really firmly holds your umbrella secure with no issues of blowing out or having to chase your umbrella because that would be quite embarrassing. It does have three slots here for your, your tees. You do have some shorter tees in here, but you can you know, put some pretty long ones in there if you'd like. It does allow for that. It doesn't really get in the way if they're rather short or long, kind of works the same there. It does come standard with cup holder, hold a standard water bottle or a can of something to drink. But if you do want to use a larger bottle, like a hydro flask or something, it won't hold it. You do, you will have to upgrade to an extra large cup holder, which is one of the first purchases I made with this. Rubber like silicone straps here. They're very durable. I've had no signs of really any like wear or damage of these. I do keep it in the shade and indoors at all times. So it doesn't actually sit in the sun ever. So, you know, kind of help with that sun rod if you live in a uh, hotter, sunnier area. I would recommend keeping this indoors or covered somewhere. So another great feature with this I've noticed over the last six months is the wheels. They show very little wear, and I have taken this on quite a few rounds of golf for myself. So plenty of tread, no worry about them balling or anything, and they're very solid. They don't look that worn for how much I've traveled. I've gone over dirt, grass, asphalt, so be it. And they are very heavy duty feeling. So they do have a little cushion on the rubber there, but for overall, these wheels do feel very heavy duty. So some of my favorite features of this would probably actually be just how easy this cart does roll. There's no real issues with pushing it and it's being too heavy. It does weigh in at a little over 21 pounds on the website, it says. Also, you can see here I have this rotating knob that I personally am a big fan of. It does help with kind of turning because it does have a stationary front wheel. So here you can just quickly dismount that umbrella holder right there and then quickly just put on this little uh, turn knob here that will help turn it a little bit quicker and easier since it does have a uh, stationary wheel which does make it harder sometimes to turn because you do have to kind of push down the cart and twist it and turn it whereas if it did have a rotating wheel it would be easier to kind of just turn around in sharp areas but with this handle as you can see here it does kind of help with that a bit so I would honestly recommend getting the steering knob it seems like kind of a gimmicky thing but once you kind of have it it's really handy because then you can steer it a lot easier one-handed whereas if you're pushing the car kind of need both hands to push it but with this little hand knob here it does make it quite easier to kind of turn it and twist it how you may need it also you can see in this netting it is quite large it can hold quite a bit of stuff you know as you can see here it is deceivingly big for how large that little pouch is and there is add-ons so if you would like you can actually store more things in the cart if need be so some of my pros of this cart would have to be the overall 
all durability up. I've had no issues in uh, six months of anywhere between two to three rounds I can play in a week with this car and I've had no issues with it. I do prefer trying to walk, just trying to lose some of those LBs because don't we all need to? There is so many different accessories. There's just an unlimited amount, honestly. I mean, you've got foot brushes, you've got seats, you've got you've got the old strut bars for added durability. I mean, you can interchange the rubber straps here to a different colorway you may want. Countless different possibilities on this. There's little coolers, there's extra netting. There's quite a few different accessories. Whatever your heart may need, you can probably I honestly find that, which is a nice feature of this cart. Also, this car does come with numerous different colors. As you can see here, I kind of displayed a few of them for you that is available in. I just got a classic white. I'm just a big fan of that kind of look. I just think it kind of looks clean and fresh. So overall, my opinion on this car for the last six months has been, it's been very solid, very durable, sturdy uh, car. Once you do get the hang of it, you can fold it up in just seconds. As you can see here, it does not take too long to figure that out. Once you use it regularly, it just kind of comes sex in nature and then you're kind of able to kind of do one lesson at a time. So if you do want a little more in depth on how to fold and unfold this car, so I have provided a link to a video below where I do just go over quickly how to fold and unfold this cart. So if you want, please check that out. Or if you just kind of need that as a refresher next time you take it out, it's been a while since you've used it, please feel free to go ahead and use that. So it can be a little bit difficult to find these days. So I have provided a link below if you're interested in getting one. I do enjoy it quite a bit. I was using a, a little two wheel pull cart for a while, but I do have quite a few back problems. So again, just that third wheel with that push cart did really make a big difference for me. We're just being able to push it one handed. Like it just took a lot of that stress and that torque off my back of pulling it and dragging uh, the two wheel. So again, I do recommend it whether you know you have bad back heat or if you just want to walk with your clubs, but you don't want to carry them. This definitely does make a difference and it is just so easy. And then also it does allow you to just store extra items that you may want with your cart. So again, thank you for watching this video. If you like, please click that like and subscribe button and help grow this channel. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye. Um, first, so I'm going to go over some of the features of the push, the push cart. Umbrella hoe, there's actually this nice rubber, uh, there's also this nice rubber, it's also your cart. So again, yeah, won't you say hi, Charlie? This is Charlie Cat, Mr. Charlie Cat. This is a Charlie Cat, little kitten, kitten. Say hello. Bah.